Congressman Jim Clyburn, the third ranking Democrat in the House, and of course a, an activist in the civil rights movement, one of the heroes of that movement. Congressman, thank you very much for being with us. Your reaction well, to the President's comments yesterday. Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, you know, uh, Andrea, uh, on yesterday, I think the President brought this country uh, to the brink of a seminal moment. I really believe that if we are a government made up of three co-equal branches of government, I think it's time for the Congress to step up and into the gap, so to speak. The president has created a social gap in this country. We are having some economic gaps widening in this country. It's time for the United States Congress to step into that. I think that Speaker Ryan and Leader Pelosi, I think that Senators McConnell and Schumer uh, need to assemble their leadership teams right away and let's begin to develop some bipartisan approaches to solving some of these problems. There are four things we need to do right away. Number one, we ought to uh, raise the debt limit. We've got to do that. The full faith and credit of the United States of America is at stake. We ought to do that. And I don't think it has to be a clean bill. It should be bipartisan, and it should not be controversial. So let's do that. And then let's work together in a bipartisan way. Three big pieces of legislation. Number one, uh, let's do what is necessary uh, to fix the Affordable Care Act. There's a problem with the Affordable Care Act, and we all know that. So let's work together in a bipartisan way and fix it, solve it. Number two, we ought to work together to reform our tax code. Not necessarily pro-business or anti-labor, but a tax code that will be pro-growth, pro-American. And third, let's do something about our infrastructure and do it in a bipartisan way to help create uh, jobs in America. Infrastructure is more than roads and bridges. It ought to be about water and sewage. It ought to be about broadband development. And let's do this in a way that Congress will then prove itself uh, to be representative of the people. When there's a failure, and we do have a failure in the executive branch of the government, it's time for the other two branches to step up. And Congress needs to step up, and our judiciary needs to step up. And let's do what is necessary to restore people's faith and confidence in this great country of ours. It is at the brink of disaster, and we ought not step back uh, from the brink. And you're basically saying, Congressman, let's ignore the White House because it's not rising to the level of leadership here, uh, to the contrary. In fact, we're told that the president had no real planning on infrastructure, that there's nothing legislatively coming through the White House to the Hill. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, we have three co-equal branches of government, and everybody can see on yesterday that there's a total disaster in the executive branch. But the Congress is representative of the people. The House of Representatives, we call ourselves all the time the House. Well, it's time for us to step up and demonstrate that we are, in fact, the people's house. I know Speaker Ryan. Uh, I like him a whole lot. We have worked together. Uh, uh, he has put our 10, 20, 30 uh, formula into 14 pieces of the Republicans' appropriations bill. That's a way of getting funding into low-income communities, and that's the kind of thing that we've got to do. We can have an infrastructure bill. Uh, that put this formula in place so low-income communities can be a part of this significant recovery uh, that we, that's going good for Wall Street. Let's do something uh, about infrastructure. Let's do something uh, uh, about uh, what I like to call a fair tax bill, not a tax bill that's going to give unusually high uh, breaks uh, to upper-income people, but a tax code that would be fair to everybody that we'd be pro-growth uh, for business and pro-growth for America's families. We can do that. It's been done before. And so let's just work together in a bipartisan way and get that done because this president has marginalized himself in such a way that I don't think there is any comeback for him. 
uh, there is no way uh, that he is going to be able uh, to revive himself and be of any real good uh, going forward. Congressman James Clyburn with a call to action by Congress. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. Thank you so much for having me.